came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And Joseph also went up from Galilee unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass.
the inhabitants of the old world were not the only ones who saw the star. Among the people of ancient America were many who waited for the sign of his birth. Prophets among these people testified. The Lord shall come down from heaven among the children of men and shall go forth working mighty miracles. He shall be called Jesus, the Son of God. There shall be no other name whereby salvation can come unto the children of men, only in and through the name of Christ. The Book of Mormon is another testament that Jesus is the Christ. Samuel was a Book of Mormon prophet who foretold the coming of Christ. He prophesied that in five years, the sign of his birth would be given. Some believed, and some did not. There shall be great lights in heaven, insomuch that in the night before he cometh, there shall be no darkness. Therefore there shall be one day, and a night, and a day, as if it were one day and it shall be the night before he is born. And behold, there shall a new star arise, such an one as ye never have beheld. Five years passed. Those who believed watched for the great signs and miracles. Others said the time had already passed for Jesus' birth. People who believed began to watch steadfastly for that day and that night and that day which should be as one day. Now there was a day set apart by the unbelievers that all those who believed in those traditions should be put to death, except the sign should come to pass. Nephi, one of the believers, prayed all day for those who were about to be killed. And the voice of the Lord came unto him, saying, Lift up your head, and be of good cheer. For behold, the time is at hand, and on this night shall the sign be given. And on the morrow come I into the world. The sun went down that night. It did not get dark. The people were astonished. A new star appeared, just as the prophet had said it would. It was the sign that the Son of God had been born. 